everyone, welcome to Piano Well. This is Emma Newman. In this series of videos I'm going to show you how imagination and singing affect piano playing and help create your own interpretation of music. Phrasing is a beautiful way to feel and understand music better. Also, it's a wonderful breathing technique that lets your performance have beautiful spacing and expression. Correctly felt and made phrasing um, helps to arrange breathing while playing and that inhaling and exhaling technique benefits your muscle energy and results in a very good and easy technique. some fragments in a musical phrase or to keep that musical line uh, to bring more expressiveness to play. But unfortunately students don't really know how and what exactly to emphasize, how to keep that magical line and what is actually the structure of the full phrasing throughout the whole piece. So their phrasing is always quite unclear, blurry and very uncertain. Correct phrasing consists of two parts, analytical and singing breathing part. In other words, in order to make a good, clear phrasing, students have to know how to build full phrasing using motifs, phrases and sentences, and how to internally sing, intonate, breathe along through playing, and naturally emphasize with exhaling main um, intervals in motifs, main motifs in phrases and main phrases in sentences. The template of a good phrasing looks something like this. Two bars motif, two motifs make four bars phrase, and two phrases make eight bars sentence. Uh, of course, this template can be changed, can be varied, um, the size of motif could be smaller, could be just one bar, or there could be three motifs in the phrase or three phrases in the sentence. But by knowing exactly the limits of blocks, students would start building this clear idea of musical structure in their mind, and uh, that would be the first step to make. Breathing can be naturally found through singing. When students is singing, internally singing and intonating while playing, 
he would start breathing according to the shapes and patterns of the phrasing, exhaling more uh, on the main sections in every block, on the main intervals in the motive, main motives in the phrase, and main phrases in the sentence. Uh, how to intonate with weight, uh, you can find out in this video. How many times we hear our masters tell their students sing melody line, connect, breathe, take a breath before next phrasing. So it all will be naturally uh, achieved if students uh, can sing internally while making good phrasing. So <laughs> let me give you an example. I'm gonna sing out loud and of course I cannot inhale while singing out loud but when I do it internally I can inhale and exhale easily. So basically on the main blocks I would exhale and on the way to that, to that blocks I would inhale. So let's pretend that this is one motif and this is another motif and another motif and another motif. Now, as you could guess, the main interval would come to the very last uh, section of the motive. So, the main interval would be B flat C, and then G F, B flat C, G F. So, this is how it sounds when I sing it. Just by having intention, I can change the way I sing. Now let's unite these two motifs in the one phrase and make the first motif in this phrase more important. So this one will be more important, this less. unite two phrases into one sentence and make second phrase more important. So or for example first phrase more important. So you can feel how my intention of making phrasing changes the vibration of my sound. Why we would consider that if something changes our singing that would also affect our playing is because the energy of breathing between notes while singing affects directly the energy in our muscles. So when I want to ex exhale in some main sections, I would naturally bring more weight through my body to that section. So let me just play for you exactly what I sang um, by motives, by phrases and by sentences and let's see what will happen. So first by motives. Size second phrase more. And now first phrase more. That changes intonation so much and I really feel like you know like I'm talking while playing. Uh, like I'm speaking while playing. And I feel that my hands are actually start breathing while playing according to the uh, phrasing pattern and this is exactly what helps to release any unhealthy tension within the hands. Uh, so, <laughs> yes, yeah, so, um, this is like 
another benefit of phrasing it helps you to achieve freedom in arts, freedom in body, because you distribute energy, you're not playing on the same level of energy, you know, like do, 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 all the time, but you distribute something lighter, something something deeper, more weight, less weight, and this is how we start inhaling and exhaling, and that really drastically increase um, your ability to play fast with no hands fatigue. So, it's not only about expressiveness, it's also about technique and the phrasing. In my opinion, one motif is one bar. Again, don't just intonate, find the mean interval and bring all your motif over there. So, So again, simply go by the bar, and so it starts. Hmm. This is one motive then. Second motive. Third motive. And simply, if you just draw the line, you know, this is slur for one motive, this is slur for another motive. Then you draw another slur above them and that would be a phrase and then you simply see that this phrase has two motives and this motive you can make even bold you know so this phrase there's two motives and this motive is more important i always do this in, in my score because it's much easier to get the plan because it's basically the plan of the piece the structure of the piece when you can basically see it because it's quite, quite hard to keep it in your mind Trust me, when you play with good structure, then the music will always have the perspective. You will always feel as a listener or as well as a performer that the music always goes, always flows somewhere in the future. Uh, so you can feel the story. <laughs>
Now we're gonna go through the phrases now. So phrase would consist of two motifs here and the second motif would be more important in each phrase everywhere. So starting from here. One, two, three. I a little bit exaggerate but Now the sentence here would consist usually again of two phrases. So in the beginning, first phrase is more important. And this is less. And automatically it gives you like sensation as echoes or something going on in the background. Now here the first phrase more important. musical form of the piece and that will bring additional expressiveness to your playing. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye!